Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Two handsome guys in my uh, uh, studio today. Uh, tell me, doctor, so I can distinguish your voices. Dr. Bob Arnott and Jeff Gooden, how you doing? We're doing great. Oh, I love that. Thank it's Monday. Let's get my audience all revved up because I've had two great doctors here talking about something really important to us, combating the opioid crisis with alternatives for chronic pain treatment. Well, thank you and welcome, doctors. I really appreciate this. If I could start off with you, Dr. Arnott, tell me your buy-in to this, taking your time to talk to us. So, you know, with 200,000 deaths this uh, century so far, uh, and these deaths involving almost every family in America who knows somebody who's been affected by this. I mean, terrible, terrible tragedies uh, and highly avoidable tragedies because, you know, in many cases, these opioids don't need to be taken at all or don't need to be taken as long as they are. You know, after five days, you're already at risk for becoming addicted to these opioids. So what I advocate for my, for my patients and what I do myself in terms of uh, practicing what I preach is I use topical pain formulations first. Now, here's what I mean by these. If you take an oral medication, you know, by mouth, it goes through your liver, your lung, your brain with uh, potential for side effects in all of those places. And even seemingly safe medications like the ibuprofen, 16,500 deaths a year, acetaminophen, 450 deaths a year, the 200,000 we've heard of this century with the opioids, with the topical, uh, no serious side effects, and no reported deaths when used properly. So, uh, for instance, they're wonderful pain patches. Uh, I used one this year made by Salon Paz for the epic 32-mile race across the most dangerous ocean passage in the world on a uh, stand-up paddleboard. Uh, and what's wonderful about these is that they are a great first choice uh, for pain management. The Centers for Disease Control advocates that. They take in charge really for the government. Uh, the European Union does. Uh, the United Kingdom, it's first choice. And increasingly should be something that patients ask for first. You know, Jeff has this wonderful study that shows that 56% of patients given the topical pain therapy were able to entirely get off of opioids. Fantastic work, Jeff. That's a great segue to Dr. Gooden. Dr. Gooden, tell me about those key findings of your study on pain management. Thanks, Felder. You know, Dr. Bob mentions using topical analgesics, and just so the audience knows what we're talking about, that's applying the medicine right to the site of pain, not taking a pill like your ibuprofens or your opioids. So you can imagine that the safety profile of using a topical is so much better than that of taking a pill. What we wanted to do as clinicians is say, hey, let's take a first look, a top line look. Let's explore whether these topical analgesics even work at all. So we followed a group of patients long term, and it turns out that the majority of them had analgesic or pain relieving benefits from using a topical. And like Dr. Bob says, much to our great surprise, many of them were able to stop their pain pills, including their opioids, because of the beneficial effects of topicals. And also, as you've heard, the almost you know, absent or negligible side effect profile from using the medicines locally really is a benefit to patients. Dr. Arnott, most people, as Dr. Gooden referred to, they're we're kind of uh, aware of the over-the-counter medications like aspirin and ibuprofen. Are there risks associated with these? Absolutely. You know, what's so surprising is that ibuprofen, which is a real go-to drug for lots of people, uh, 16,500 deaths uh, for this uh, epic race a couple of years ago, the World Championships for Stand-Up Surfing, I took uh, five ibuprofen before the race and suffered terrible gastritis, vomiting uh, all the way over, almost didn't finish the race at all and wasn't sure I was going to survive. Uh, so th th these are dreadful side effects. You know, acetaminophen seems like such an incredibly safe drug, and yet you have 450 deaths. It's the largest reason that people have liver transplants. So terrible side effects. And it's the reason that these topical pain formulations are such a great first choice. 
Dr. Arnott, before I let you go, I, mean, I don't know Dr. Gooden that well, but I know about you, and I know you're the poster boy for the rest of us of being healthy. <laughs> give me, in relationship to our conversation, give me something that my audience can walk away from this conversation with us doing. So, you know, the, the single most important thing in terms of, of, of longevity and feeling great is having a sport you love. Like, I love stand-up surfing. I love Nordic ski racing. Uh, if you don't like any of that, I call it work while you're working out. Get yourself on a treadmill. And, of course, the number one problem you're going to have, of course, is pain, which is why I love these topical pain formulations as a way of trying to, uh, you know, uh, beat the wear and tear that our body gets by trying to keep ourselves uh, healthy uh, in, into old age. And, you know, just was looking at a recent study of an 80-year-old who has the same fitness level as the 34-year-old by having a really great, vigorous exercise program. Dr. Bon Arnott, you are a physician and an athlete and an advocate. And Dr. Jeff Gooden, you are a physician and a current uh, doctor for the Pain Management Wellness Center in Englewood, New Jersey. I want to thank you both for talking to my audience because you got the right audience. My audience is made up of 89.9% females and they're baby boomers. So thank you so very much. And Volta, thanks for all the research you've done on a wonderful segment. Thank, thank you. you. Please okay. come back. Oh, we will.